We've made updates to the date column and the people column, so now there's more formatting options and validation options. First, we'll start by taking a look at dates. I'm going to right click this date column, select edit column, and now we have this option for date formats and also a toggle to turn time on and off. So in this case, I'm going to set this time format, hit save, and what we have is the date and then the time next to it. And then I'll show the different formats. So that is the standard where it's a short date and time. We have this friendly option, which will show a, a short month. And then the time, I'll switch this to ISO. This is the ISO standard format. And last one is the relative format, which gives a relative time and relative date. We've added some validation options for dates and times as well. I'm going to change the validation on this so that the date must be in the past. I'll hit save on this and then create a new row. This selects today's date by default and I'm going to try to set it to a date in the future. I get an error here that says must be in the past. So I'll set this back to today's date. And then I'm going to change the format here. I'm going to select include time and hit save here. I'll open up filters and add a time filter here and say submission date. There are these time conditions if you have time enabled. And I can say is after. Let's just see if it was submitted after 9 p.m. None of these are after 9 p.m. I can edit this to say after 4 p.m. and hit update, and we can see the submissions that were after 4 p.m. We also added formatting and validation to the people column. So in this table, I have this people column. I'm going to make edits to it so that I can select a different format. Right now, I have it set to email only. We have this auto-sized one, which will do a photo and email or just a photo based on how many are selected. Then there's also photo and name and photo only. So I'll select photo only here, hit save. And what this does is it just gives you the user image with no name and no email. And this can be nice to have smaller columns with multiple people in it.